When it comes to politics, it's hard to find a tougher competitor than Rahm Emanuel. He orchestrated the Democrat Party's takeover of Congress in 2006, helped Barack Obama get elected in 2008, pushed health care reform through Congress in 2010, and just a year later, trounced all comers in the Chicago mayoral race. Now, the 53-year-old Emanuel, appropriately nicknamed Rambo, has thrown himself into another competitive realm, triathlon. And says Kevin Hellicker, he's posting some impressive sounding finishes. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Michael. So, Kevin, how would Rahm Emanuel shape up against Paul Ryan in a uh, well, test of endurance? That's the well, question I, that's really bugging me. I, I, I think the uh, most important distinction there is that um, Rahm Emanuel has never uh, in any way misrepresented his yeah. triathlon <laughs> accomplishments. However, he has benefited from a misperception about them. Oh, in, in what way? The uh, Rahm races in what's called a sprint distance race and right after it is an Olympic distance race, Rahm finishes at the very top of, near the very top of his age group in the sprint distance and would uh, come went nowhere near to that in the Olympic distance and yet is often called, uh, you know, the, the referred to as, uh, you know, in the top uh, nine out of 80 men mm -hmm. his age, that sort of thing. He's never misrepresented this. It's a little bit of, of, a, of a case where triathlon isn't known well enough hmm. for Rahm's accomplishments to be appropriately understood. But as a mayor, uh, as, a, as a leader of a, a city where, as in most of America, people don't exercise enough, he's a great role model. Now, I understand you've signed up to compete against him. Isn't well, the, 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 the point of my article is that if you're uh, uh, an aging guy like me and you, wanted, you want to accomplish something athletically uh, uh, that seems to stand out, that you, you possibly can go out there on the triathlon course and, and beat Rom. And, um, and beat Rom. And beat Rom. Okay, that, so that's, that's going to be your, your claim to fame at some point. I'm I mean, gonna, along, I, along with all of your other accomplishments as a, as a, as a journalist. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know that I can, but I'm going to try. They give it a shot. It's, I'm sure it sounds from his record that he's certainly somebody worth going after. What does this say, you know, politically? I mean, it's, it's something that, that clearly is, I would think, to his favor against this, you know, this virile, uh, you know, aggressive competitive You know, I think that him. these days, increasingly, uh, physical fitness is, is kind of seen as and sometimes uh, trotted out as a metaphor for fitness for office. And, uh, and so, yeah, I think that... Uh, that, that politicians increasingly do want to be seen, seen as fit. In this case, uh, when you look at Rom's finishes, the, he, they're, they're elite. Mm. So, um, but, but these particular finishes haven't been analyzed. We, we look at every uh, aspect of a politician's record and we analyze it. So what I did was, it's kind of tongue in cheek, but I analyzed it and I pointed out that, well, he's, he's not really as high among his age group. As, uh, as, as he may appear. But the fact is, the people who are out there doing these triathlons are, are so much fitter than the general population that they're and, all fit. And, 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 and it takes up quite a bit of time, this training, I would think. And how, how, you, you must know about that. What's your training regimen going to be like? Uh, my, uh, the, the, the next month is going to be a lot more serious than the last month because mm -hmm. I just decided to do this. And um, so, uh, and probably an hour or two a day. Well, obviously time-consuming in that sense, but right. uh, for a good cause, keep you fit. Thank you. Thank Michael. you very much, Kevin.